hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i will show you how i did these beautiful box braids on my daughter's hair this is the perfect protective hairstyle and she will be wearing this hairstyle throughout the summer so in order to start her hair her hair has been washed and deep conditioned i'll leave the link above and below so that you guys can see my full wash routine and deep condition routine so since her hair is air dry i'm going ahead and parting it I am using a rat tail comb. Um, this comb type of comb is essential for this hairstyle because it is going to give the hair those very neat braids. So I started by parting on the rat tail section of the comb and once my part was perfect, I went over it again with the comb itself. So now I'm just going to connect the braid from the top to the bottom and now I'm going to moisturize her hair. Moisturizing the hair is essential for this hairstyle because we'll be leaving it in long term. I want her hair to have as much moisture as it did from when I started up until when I took it out. So detangling is also important as well. So as you can see, I am using the rat tail comb to detangle and I'm starting from the bottom and working my way up. You guys know I'm not a fan of combs, but it's essential for me to get it detangled. Now here is the hack for this hairstyle. Using edge control is really going to give the hair that sleekness at the base of the braid. So I'm adding edge control on the base of the braids. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that I do this every time I do any type of braids or corn rolls in her hair. So now I'm just going ahead and I'm braiding my hair. I'm getting a very secure, how do you say that? I'm trying to get it secure at the root of her hair um, so that her hair, once her hair starts growing, um, the braids still remain neat. So I'm just showing you guys how I do the braid on her hair. As you can see, I try to, when I braid, I try to keep my fingers very, very close to the top of the braid and detangle as I work. You don't want to have any tangles when you start the braid, nor do you want to create any tangles while you're braiding the hair because it's going to be a nightmare when you take the braids out. So you just want to be very careful. Take your time when you do this hairstyle and really take your time to braid the hair. As you can see, my fingers are really close to the braids. I'm adding edge control as I go along. The reason why I add edge control is because it gets the hair very sleek and it stops the frizz while I'm braiding. So the edge control is gonna prevent any flyaway hairs um, and it's gonna prevent a lot of that frizz that you see as the braids get older. So just take your time to do this hairstyle. This hairstyle honestly took me two days to do um, just because I wanted to take a break in between. So it took me about a total of four and a half hours and I worked at two and a half hours each day to braid her hair. So once I get close to the ends of her hair, I'm just being very cautious to make sure it remains even. And I never, ever, ever borrow hair from any of the other strands while I'm braiding her hair because this will create tangles while I'm braiding her hair. So once I get closer to the end and the three strands start to get a little uneven, I go ahead and I add my Taylor Beauty Perfect Coils Curling Jelly. And I don't ever braid all the way to the ends. What I do is I just get, I just add the coils and I just kind of let the coils define the curls. So now it's time to do the side. And I dried her hair in four sections, so I'm just taking it out. Um, I did wash her hair the day before. So in order to do that part, what I'm going to do is I'm taking the rat tail part of my comb and I'm going to still continue to connect those braids from the side and work it to the front and create nice even sections along the side of her hair. So now I'm going to do that same method that I did before where I went up to connect the part. So just make sure you're taking your time to do these parts, especially if you want it to look nice and neat. Um, if you are beginning, um, just really, like I said, take your time. And I promise you, the more you practice, the better it will get. I don't think I'm great at it, um, but this method is what really helps me to get really neat parts. So now I'm just going ahead and doing that same method of braiding from the base and really concentrating on getting a nice neat braid using the edge control 
and just going ahead and braiding from the top to the bottom. so many tears you've been there for me i've been there for you look in the mirror and think this through something as perfect and pretty as you i never could leave you gotta believe but you think my heart's not So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do post these types of videos twice a month, so make sure you hit that little bell, which is the notification, which lets you know anytime that I post a new video. If you have any questions, comment down below and thank you so much for watching.